thing should have been freedom. So why did it hurt worse? That's because oxytocin, the chemical for bonding, does not let go quietly. Here's the wild part about oxytocin. Inside the trauma bond, oxytocin lowers. Why? Because it's also your social memory chemical. The brain whispers, I need to forget this abuse so the relationship can survive. But the second you leave, oxytocin flips out. It gets all dysregulated and starts screaming like, oh no, you didn't. And then it pulls up every micro good memory you ever had with the abuser and floods your brain with it. And you're having trouble remembering why you left and you're questioning yourself. And here's the kicker. Oxytocin points straight to dopamine, your free will star, meaning your reward system is hijacked. And so you feel like you're choosing to go back, but it's really oxytocin messing with your whole map. See, I told you it's all oxytocin's fault. Honestly, this chemical needs a good spanking. Yeah, I said it. Sure did. That's why survivors often say it felt harder after I left. You're not crazy. It's chemistry. Your own bonding system is sabotaging your freedom. Trauma bonds don't just hurt emotionally. They hijack your oxytocin and even your free will. Tomorrow, inspired by one lovely comment, can you do a part three, how to heal our addiction chemistry? So that's where we're going. Retraining the very system that tried to sabotage us.